cuss word or lived a life in rebellion to his commandments. Have you forgiven those who have wronged you? You have to forgive others in order to receive forgiveness from God. He poured out his mercy through Yeshua, or Jesus, on the cross for your sins. And so, you also must extend this mercy and forgiveness to other people as well. Unforgiveness is keeping track of other people's offenses against you. Wipe the slate clean today of offenses. Give judgment to Yeshua. He is the perfect and just judge. Some sins you must repent of are selfish ambition, which is pursuing your own goals, dreams, and desires apart from asking what the Father's will is for your life, being a lover of your own self, your own desires, and whatever feels right to you as opposed to seeing what the Bible says is true to how to live your life. Also, stealing, cheating, and lying are sins that you must turn from and go the other way. Other sins we need to repent of are being unthankful and ungrateful for the many blessings he's given us, for giving us breath every day when we wake up, for giving us food, for giving us shelter, and all the different things that he gives us. Also, we need to repent of wrong-spoken judgments against other people, oftentimes out of envy or jealousy or the many different motives that come our way. People will speak negative things against other people, gossip and slander and spreading false information about people and also unprofitable things about people we need to repent of. Also, sexual immorality and fornication or having sex outside of marriage and drug addictions are sins that also we need to ask forgiveness of and turn from. Also, if you have wisdom, you will learn to judge yourself or correct your own life lest you be judged for your sins. Matthew 18.6 talks about the judgment of the stumbling blocks, which is when someone causes a weak person in the faith to be sinning. It is better for that person to be drowned in the sea than for them to receive the judgment that awaits them. This includes pastors and church leaders who teach that the commandments are not for today and it causes people to fall into sinful lives. This also includes those who push God's grace into a license to sin, thereby causing people to lose the fear of Yehovah, and they fall into sin. If someone weak in the faith says that, My pastor said that I didn't have to keep the Sabbath, or my pastor said we could store up abundant treasures on the earth for ourselves, that pastor who taught those false things will receive an even greater judgment for causing the weak in the faith to sin. Keep in mind that the seventh day Sabbath is an eternal commandment. And keep in mind that Yeshua said that we are not to store up treasures for ourselves on the earth or living in lavish luxury, etc. The judgment of the stumbling blocks also includes atheists who work at hurting the faith of those who believe in Yeshua or Jesus. Your judgment will not be good if you don't repent. Repent or forsake all known sins so that way you turn the other way and go in the opposite direction. Repent. Ask Yeshua to forgive you of the sins you've committed, the crimes you've committed against the holy and just God of the universe. Be baptized for the remission of your sins. Be baptized or fully immersed in water to show that you are bearing your old life and starting a new life in Him. Read your Bible or the scriptures and grow in the grace and knowledge of Yeshua as you walk in His ways and obey His commandments. And may that day be a great day that he says, Well done, my good and faithful servant, enter into your inheritance, rather than a fearful and dreadful day where he says, Depart from me, you wicked, into everlasting fire. Everyone is going to bow the knee at some point to Yeshua or Jesus. The question is, will you bow the knee now?